Joining us now is Tim Wright. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great. Wonderful. It's the year of giving, that time of the year where spirits are high and, you know, everyone is excited about the holiday season. So I'm doing wonderful. I love your graciousness and your humbleness. I meet a lot of people in what I do for a living, um, thousands and thousands. And what was so exciting is that um, you just walk in and you're the same person you were when you were younger. Do you know what I mean by that? Like you might be taller, but your soul appears as who you truly are, your authentic self. And I was like, wow, look at you go. Yes. So it's not what you've achieved, because like you said, those things in the past were just a platform right. for where it is that you're going. Yes, absolutely right. Yes. And you know, that that's something that when you hear it as affirmation from others is, is really when you could check that box each and every day and say, I did a job to either inspire someone or press upon how you need to be as a human, you know, because I think sometimes for people, egos get in the way or their accolades or, um, you know, the successes, but every human could wake up and they could, you know, face failure. They could face adversity. And those are the things that really balances out in life, you know, being on a high horse or burning bridges or kind of, you know, acting in a way that's, that's really not a good citizen isn't the way to be. And it's really just being grounded. And, you know, that's what I've been throughout my entire life. And I understood the communities that I impact, the people that looks up to me. And, you know, I just want to be an example of, of, of a great citizen. You also made yourself ready for opportunity, right? Yeah. So when opportunity knocks, yep. you didn't just like walk through the door, you ran through the door, right? Yes. Because I think oftentimes that people are like, oh, well, how come that person got to do that? Or how come that person got to do that? It's because, you know, maybe they weren't prepared. Like the door was going to open, but yet they didn't do the work to get to that door opening. Yes. But you did. Yes. A door opened. So it was Tampa. It was your former coach. Yep. And the former coach said, I, I want you to come on. Yes. What what was that moment like when he at least called you to say that he, I'm going to cry, that he was thinking about you? Yeah, you know, it, it's rooted in the purpose. That's really where it starts, and it is the preparation. Um, a lot of times people see these overnight successes, and it's just, no, it's not overnight. It's just when you happen to be exposed to it. But I'm grateful for my experiences. I'm grateful for all the insight that I've gathered from people and being a, a student of your craft and then going out and putting the hours in and mastering your craft. You know, they say 10,000 plus hours is when you become a master at something. And what I'm doing now with my company, what I did in my football career, I put the time in, the work in. And if it's in a form of credibility, then call it what it is. But you don't have to, you know, become an expert in something because you only studied that specific thing. It's your entire life and your entire journey that gives you the insight and the ability to go out and achieve what you achieve. So that's what I say has been my road to and path to success. I call it painting with people, right. right? I meet someone, I meet somebody else, I put them together, I stand back and I'm like, wow, look at that painting. Yes. I see you do that so beautifully. Mm -hmm. So who are some of the team members that you brought here today? Yeah. So I brought one of my colleagues and he's the VP of communications for our company, Dome Audio. He is a certified national ASL interpreter. He works at Gallaudet University and he's actually a CODA himself. So his, his both his parents were uh, deaf and he's a child of a deaf adult. So that's what CODA stands for in the world of deaf and hard of hearing. But he's here and then, um, you know, Paul invited me as a guest and then, you know, Rhonda just, just you know, laid out this amazing platform yourself and the entire team. So it's been, it's really been an impactful day for me, but I just want to give back and share to others my story and what I've been a part of. So now what you did, talking about great teams, you put a team together um, and you created a headphone. Um, I don't even know if you could call it a headphone. I'm just going to call it like this cool head apparatus. That's, ooh, it's like, like head that. jewelry. Like it's like jewelry, jewelry for your, you know, the ability yes. to hear, yes. hearing, hearing jewelry. I don't yes. know, yes. but it's just more than a headphone it's because a headphone. it's, um, and it's hard to describe something that you said hadn't had any changes in maybe 150 years, years. Yes. 110. Yes. That's a lot. Yes, okay. Is. So what is Dome? Yes. So Dome is a disruptive headphone technology. Headphones were actually invented in 1910 by Nathaniel Baldwin. And the basic function and the design has not changed in over 100 years. And so my partner, Ben White, he's the IP developer and founder of Dome Audio, was in the music industry for 25 years, songwriter, producer, musician, and he got his hands on bone conduction technology. And like I said earlier, his past experiences was a gift of what gave him this idea in the present. So when he tried it out, he said, I understand the concept of sound, 
but it doesn't quite give you that rich fidelity that we're used to. So he slid it behind his ears on the mastoid bone, and boom, that's where the magic happened. So he then... The dancing begins. The dancing begins. So he created this design and this idea, and because of the technology that we use, it not only gives a new transformative experience to normal hearing people, but people who are deaf and hard of hearing, which accounts for over a billion people globally, can now be a part of a headphone conversation that they've been overlooked by and eliminated from. So we have an incredible mission. We have a platform. And I'm going to show the camera. Let's, let's, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's like, just right? show what it looks so, like. So. so this is the design that we're talking about. Okay. It features a silhouette that wraps around the ear, but nothing goes inside your ear. So it uses vibration to send the sound in the inner ear. But then this dome cover is a platform that you can seamlessly attach it to the frame of the headphone like this. And now it turns into a conventional headphone experience, but you can express yourself with this dome cover because it's limitless capability of you know fashion designs. Whatever you want to put on that cover, any logo, any brand that you love, this is how we're going to create stories and show it to the world. So, yeah. I'm so excited. Wait, wait, hold that up. Hold that up again. Yep. I don't know. The Donna Drake the logo. The Donna Drake on. logo. Oh, <laughs> selling out in minutes. That's what we've been. It's <laughs> living it up. Exactly. Living it up. Um, yes. So it is wonderful. I've actually witnessed it. I yes. got to see you uh, provide an opportunity for people to listen. Uh, with them on. So congratulations to you. Continued success. How can people in the general public help support this yes, effort yes, to help yes. others? So we're coming to the market sometime 2024. We have world-class engineers that's on board, some incredible partners that we'll be revealing soon. Uh, but essentially, you could visit domeaudioinc.com or you could reach out to us and email at connect at domeaudioinc.com. So those are the two ways to connect with us. Yes. Connecting. I, can I just see your bling for a second? Yeah, Look at that bling. Look at this Look bling. At this. <laughs> Look at that bling. Okay, so just imagine, right? You could actually have like that logo on your on your dome yes, cover. Yes, exactly. So that's what just to, just to wrap that part up. You know, um, this is where it transcends beyond headphones. You can wear it when you're commuting. You can wear it through the airport. You can wear it at a live sporting event and get commentary in real time. When you meditate in educational settings, you know, production, when you're, you know, in news platforms and TV, like all of that stuff, media, podcasts, everything. So this is this is what we mean by, you know, the next revolutionary headphone experience. And, and it's hands free, which yes, is so nice, free. too. It's hands free. Exactly. Right. Yep. I love this. Thank Congratulations. You. Continued you, success to you. Yes, appreciate Go Scarlet that. Knights. Go Scarlet Knights. <laughs> Go Scarlet Knights. All right. Yes. Uh, I, I am the mom of a Rutgers grad as well. All right, guys. Yes. Take care. Happy take journeys. Care.